everybody, it's me Namaisa Hunswijk and today I'm coming to you with another tutorial. Um, finally, this is a more wearable look. I have been telling you guys for maybe three weeks already like, yeah, I know there will be a more wearable look coming and then I would still do another very dramatic and Halloween look. So uh, today I just felt like filming my face of the day basically and turn it into a tutorial. So it's a cut crease, but this time more neutral, so in more natural colors. Um, I'm a big fan of the cut crease look, uh, especially with glitters, crazy looks, but some of you ladies would love to rock it in neutral colors. So that is what I did today. And yes, I'm no more blonde, <laughs> just so you know. If you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you got to do. Bye! Hey everybody, so I started out with applying a primer. The one that I'm using is from Lime Crime and it's called the Eyeshadow Helper. And that's this product. I applied it all over my lid, in my crease, and on my brow bone. So for my first product, I'm going to use my face powder, which is this product right here. It's the Studio Fix Face Powder from MAC and I got it in the shade NC50. I'm going to apply it with a 224 taper blending brush also from MAC. Now all I'm going to do is apply it in my crease and up just to blend out the harshness of my brow bone highlight so that concealer I use to clean up my brows with and it's going to help me blend out my other eyeshadows so more as a transition color. For my next product I'm going to use a Pro Longwear eyeshadow from MAC and this one is called Uninterrupted and I'm gonna apply it with the 208 brush also from MAC. All I'm gonna do is create a shape so cut the crease. I'm gonna start from here and draw that line above my crease and then down so kind of like a eyeliner. Connecting it now I'm going to use the 252 brush from MAC and I'm going to blend out that uh, line I created above my crease. So for the next product I'm going to use this eyeshadow which is called Ground Brown and I'm going to apply it with that same 208 brush. And again, I'm going to follow that line above my crease. Now I'm going to take that 252 brush from MAC again. And this time, I'm going to blend out that ground brown eyeshadow I applied just a minute ago. Just blending it out, mixing it together. Now I'm taking a little bit of that uninterrupted eyeshadow again, but this time I'm going to apply it with a 217 brush from MAC. Apply it above that line, so above that cut crease, and I'm softly just blending it out in windshield wiper motions and also kind of like this just to make those harsh lines a little softer but mostly windshield wiper motions now I'm gonna take a little bit of ground brown eyeshadow again and this time I'm gonna apply it with the same 217 blending brush I used before and what I'm doing is applying it on that line where you can see that ground brown and blending it out but I'm not gonna blend it out as high as that uh, uninterrupted eyeshadow Now I'm going to go back in with that face powder I applied in the beginning and uh, on that same 224 taper blending brush and I'm applying it on the edges of that uninterrupted eyeshadow I blend it out just to make everything more blended and get rid of the more harsh lines 
For my next eyeshadow, I'm going to use this one, and this one is called Kid, and this is an eyeshadow from MAC. I'm going to apply it with a 239 brush, also from MAC. And all I'm going to do is apply this on the area which I left open. So on my eyelid, and also in my crease, like so. Now that was it for the look. Now all I'm going to do is apply a winged eyeliner. Then I'm going to apply some false lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to wear are called the Noir Fairy Lashes in Black from HouseofLashes.com. Then I'm going to apply some mascara. And after that, I will be right back with the finished look. Hey everybody, so I came back to show you what I used for contour, blush, highlight, lip pencil, and lipstick. And a little bit about the brows. So for my contour powder, I used a Pro Longwear eyeshadow from MAC, and it's called Uninterrupted. And as always, I applied it over here, on the other side, top, this side, <laughs> and on my uh, jawline, just so you know. Then for my blush, I used a Pro Longwear blush from MAC, and this one is called Stubborn, and I applied it on the apples of my cheeks. Then for my highlight, I used a Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC, which is called Glorify, as you can see. And I applied that over here, and over here, and of course, on the other side. Uh, just in between, I'm so happy that this camera finally picks up the true colors of the products. I mean, I'm happy now. <laughs> So I first lined my lips with a lip pencil. The one that I'm using is from the brand Moon Love, which is this one, and it's called Scarlet. It's just a red lip pencil. Don't think the camera picks it up, but it's just a, a red lip uh, pencil. I filled in my lips, also overdrawn my top lip a little bit. We all know probably why now, and if you don't know, my top lip is a little bit smaller than my bottom lip, so I want to even them out. And then for my lipstick, I used New York Apple, which is a lipstick from MAC. And I applied that on the center of my lips, and that's it. So I start out with my brows as they are. Uh, I first apply a primer onto my brows, so on my brow area. Yes, a eyeshadow primer. I prefer Lime Crimes Eyeshadow Helper or Urban Decay uh, or Original Primer, because they're thick and they last the whole day. Then I used Night Moth Lip Pencil from MAC to draw my shape the shape of my brow and then I use carbon eyeshadow which is a matte black eyeshadow from MAC and I draw in the ends of my tail so my brow tail to give it a more uh, gradient effect ombre effect whatever you want to call it so this part right here is lighter and then the outer part is darker really simple um, so yeah thank you all for watching and obviously until the next video Bye!